Hello and welcome to JD Vlogs. Today I'm going to be filming for you a kitchen speed clean. So it's going to be from the filters to the hob to the oven and then to many more things. To see some more please carry on watching our video and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you then. So let's start with the basic where we all have washing up to do. I'm just putting on my washing up gloves um, and I always, always use my Dishmatic. My favourite washing up liquid is Fairy. This scent I've got in here today is Mint. You might have seen it in one of my previous videos, my top 10 hinching products. The grey dispenser I'm using now, I have my washing up liquid in. It matches my kitchen great and I bought it a year ago from TK Maxx. Does anyone else find washing up really therapeutic? I don't know if it's just me. I always have to wear washing up gloves when I'm washing up as I suffer really bad with dermatitis and any harsh chemicals or anything like that really gets, it irritates them and makes them dry out even more. Um, I love these gloves. These are the Marigolds. I picked these up from Wilkinson's and I think they were 89p. I don't know if anybody else is the same, but even if you have a few things in the sink, I have to wash it up. So next up, I decided to clean my filters. I pop them into the sink and again, all I use is my Dishmatic with my Fairy in and hot water. It really works a treat. You know, you can't be just washing up liquid to get through grease. Dishmatic have lots of colours. They have green, grey, black, white and pink. Pink is the one I'm using today. The pink was brought out for Breast Cancer Awareness Month back in November. Obviously I bought quite a few, that's a good cause. They have so many uses. I don't just use Dishmatics for washing up. I use them to clean the oven, the window ledges, to the front door. Obviously I have a lot so it's not cross contaminating and everyone is different for every room. You can buy replacement heads, which I probably replace twice a week, depending on what I clean. So I'm just taking my gloves off now and I'm going to dry it all up and put it away. While I do this, some people have asked me a couple of questions, so I thought I'd answer them. So the first question was, where did you find the inspiration to do Instagram and YouTube? Well, my inspiration is the one and only Mrs Hinch for the cleaning. She found my love and passion I have for cleaning. Obviously, I've always cleaned. You've always got to clean your home. But obviously now, I feel that I'm officially a hincher. My partner is also the, the biggest inspiration to me, as he never tells me to give up and to follow every dream of mine.
Drying up seems to be always the longest job. You know, it takes a few seconds to wash up and then drying up seems to take forever. I don't know if it's like that for any of you guys. I'm just drying up my latte glass now, which I absolutely love. I got this from Wilkinson's again for a pound. Absolute bargain. You know, I love all those shops, Wilkinson's, B&M, Home Bargains, Poundland. I'm still waiting for a one below to come to Bournemouth. This here is my favourite Christmas mug. It obviously matches my kitchen very well. Um, and also it's the only one I have. I just thought I'd show you this marble set of cutlery that I recently bought. Obviously, you'll start to see a pattern now where I like to have things matching. Um, that's just a bit of OCD and I struggle with that. Drying up is done now. Let's move on to a sink clean. I start by using the Pink Stuff Cream Cleaner by Star Drops. You can buy this from so many places. Uh, B&M, The Range, Home Bargains. And let's just say it is certainly great value for money. So what I do is I start off by giving it a good shake. And I simply just apply it to the sink. Then out comes my grey scrub daddy. I put on the hot water. Give the scrub daddy a rinse. And then I start scrubbing it in to the sink and the draining board. Now as you can see, I just absolutely love suds. As you will see as this continues. Whilst I was cleaning this bit, it always reminds me to go la di da di da. What I'm doing now is I'm just turning the cold tap on as obviously I only learnt this a few months ago that hot water will increase the amount you, of suds you have. So obviously cold will wash the suds away rather than making more suds. Obviously, because I like to have a lot of suds, as you can see, it takes a while to wash the suds away. But I don't mind because at the end of the day, it's going to have a nice shiny sink. And who doesn't love a shiny sink? Let's just say what I did here probably didn't help at all. I don't know why I squeezed it out all on the draining board that I had previously just wiped the suds away from. But there we are, that's all fun of filming whilst doing a kitchen clean, I suppose. Just working on the tap now, as there's a lot of um, build-up around the tap. Um, need to make sure it all comes off. Obviously, we live in a rental, so I'm extra careful about cleaning. This is the grey minky, the kitchen minky, which is from a company called Minky Home Care. But you can also get these in B&M and Home Bargains. There's so many designs to choose from, and I absolutely love them. I use this just to pick up any other suds. I do this as I'm going to be using another product in a minute <clears throat> and you don't want to be mixing products.
So next up is a new buy for me. It's the Flash All Purpose Spray in the scent Sugar Plum Delight. I picked this up the other day from B&M and let me tell you, it smells amazing. This is the same design minky, but obviously a different one as I used a different product this time round. I am a bit obsessed with a minky. Now I wanted to give my drain a clean as I noticed the water was going down quite slowly. So this is the Elbow Grease Drain Unblocker. I picked this up again from B&M. You probably noticed that B&M is one of my favourite stores now. Basically you put half the bottle of the solution down and you leave it for 30 minutes. And that's exactly what I did here. Obviously it's a bit sped up for you. Um, I just absolutely love the design and shape of this product. You can certainly see what the product is designed for. It's obviously been 30 minutes now, so I'm just back running and flushing it through with hot water from the tap. There's no need to boil the kettle. It just says hot water from the tap is absolutely fine. now let's move on to a hob clean it didn't need a massive clean so i'm just using my flash all-purpose spray again in this sugar plum delight and of course i've got my scrub daddy back out so what i'm doing is just basically scrubbing with the hard side of the scrub daddy into the cooker tops um, and then obviously around them again you can see that i really like the suds and i am absolutely loving this flash all-purpose spray the scent is, it reminds me of Christmas, obviously Christmas is coming up, um, and I absolutely love it. I'm just letting you know that I'm now going to leave it for three minutes until I wipe it away. Here I am again with another grey minky, obviously you can start to see I'm obsessed, um, but God, I love the scent if i haven't already said it um i'm just wiping away the suds now using the gray minky Moving on, I'm now going to clean the kitchen sides. This is the Pride Minky, another design that I absolutely love. Again, from Minky Home Care. I'm obviously going to stick with this scent. I like to, once I start using a scent, I like to stick with that scent for that room for that day. Um, again, that's something to do with OCD. So I'm just going to clean, obviously, the sides down. Um, and then I'm going to go up to the cupboard doors and give them all a wipe over. Lots of people ask where my bread bin is from and it is actually from Tower Housewares. It's the same place I got my um, big hoover from. Um, I absolutely love Tower. That's also where my toaster is from and my kettle is obviously the Swan Grey, which I love.
so moving on now I feel it's time to freshen up my toaster this is, cloth is called the Kermit it's great for shining and again this is from Minky Home Care the spray I just showed you is the all-in-one disinfectant spray from Fabulosa in the scent Electrify. I bought this from their website, however you can buy it from B&M or Home Bargains. Now just a little tip for you, I always spray onto the cloth rather than the actual product. Um, they advise this so you're not damaging any product and obviously I would advise to test a small area of each item before you do it. This is the crumb drawer, obviously it gets quite built up. This is my little friend. This is the Belle Dre um, handheld hoover. A lot of you have sharks, but obviously I can't afford a shark, um, but I use this. So I start off by just hoovering the crumbs up and then any that doesn't come off, like you just saw, I tap on the side of the work surface and then hoover up from the work surface. I actually got that tip from the one and only Mrs. Hinch herself. She obviously has a shark. Moving on, I just need to shine up the top of my kettle really again onto the cloth the product goes and just rubbing around and shining it. I descaled my kettle two weeks ago so that's not needed to be done yet. Um, give the handle a quick wipe over and that's basically the toaster and the kettle just given a quick freshen up really. Um, they didn't need a deep clean. To finish my kitchen clean, I'm going to use the Febreze Sugar Plum Delight um, following on with the scent of the kitchen I wanted. Just giving it a quick spray. Absolutely love this scent and that's it. So that's me done with the kitchen clean. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know uh, what your favourite cleaning product was and any good cleaning tips, let me know in the comments down below. In the description, I will let you know all the products that I used, where I can get them from. Um, and just any advice with cleaning that I can give you. I'm no expert, but I hope it helps you. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you all soon.